Hey guys, so tonight I am going out with one of my friends. I haven't seen her in a really long time, so this is gonna be fun and I'm excited. But I thought it would be fun to do a little get ready with me while I do my makeup before I go out. And so we're just gonna get we're just gonna start it off with my eyebrows. Right now I just use an e.l.f. um powder and an angled brush. Um, right now it only has the black, so that's the color I'm using. And we're gonna start that off. So then I just go in with a spoolie and I kind of just brush it out so it's not as dark. And then to make it a little bit more neat, I just kind of put some concealer underneath. And then right now I'm using L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear. This stuff, if you want full coverage concealer for cheap, this is it. I promise you, you will not regret it. So I'm just gonna put this underneath my brows so they don't look that messy. So for the most part, this is good. So then I just go in with a sponge um, and I just kind of blend that in. So then my next step is foundation. Um, right now I use Superstay by Maybelline. This is also a great full coverage foundation. This stuff literally lasts through everything. And so if you want a full coverage foundation that lasts, definitely get this. It's so great. Um, right now I have no idea what color I am. I just went on vacation so I mean I might not look tan in the camera, <laughs> but I'm tanner than usual. So I think I'm just gonna mix natural ivory and porcelain together and do a little bit more of a natural ivory than the porcelain, just so I don't look like a ghost. So I just take both of them, do a full pump of the darker one and then a half pump of the lighter one. And then I just take <laughs> the end of any brush and I just mix it together on the sponge and then just apply the excess on my face. So then after the foundation, I go in again with the concealer just on any pimples. Um, I go over the top of my forehead because I got really bad forehead lines and I try to 
hide those as much as possible. And I go under my eyes, you know, the usual places you put concealer. So then I just go back in and blend all the concealer in to my foundation. So my next step in my makeup routine is probably weird to a lot of people. I use cornstarch as a setting powder, and I know that may sound weird, but trust me, if you have really oily skin, it's a lifesaver. I just remember it, I would be like two, three hours into my makeup and like my makeup would just be melting off and it would be so gross. So I like researched ways I could find out how to keep my makeup on and I tried powder and it just, like I tried so many powders and it just did not work. My makeup still kept melting off and I was just so annoyed and done with it. And I found this and it's literally a godsend. I swear to God, it, it works so well. So what it does is it absorbs all the excess oil. So throughout the day, it helps it stay on and it lasts a lot longer. So if you have really oily skin, try it. It, you will be surprised. And it's just like a translucent powder, so there's no real color to it. So that's also a great thing about it. So I just get a big fluffy brush, dip that in there and put that all over my face. I promise you, if you use this, your makeup will stay on. Like, you'll be so surprised. I don't know how people just use powder and like, that's it. Because I could never, my makeup would be gone in an hour. <laughs> so then I go in with a spoolie on my eyebrows again, just in case I got powder in it. So it doesn't <laughs> look all white. And then to keep them in place, I use e.l.f. eyebrow gel. And I just go in with that and shape my brows however I want. So then I think I'm gonna go in with my eyes. I think I'm gonna do eyeshadow today. I don't know what color, cause I have no idea what I'm wearing. So I think I'm just gonna stay kind of like a neutral base cause I have no idea what I'm wearing tonight. That's gonna be a process that I have to figure out. So I think to be safe, I'm just gonna do what I normally do. Um, I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm just gonna go in. You can tell I use this a lot, but I'm gonna go in with this color here for the base. So then I'm gonna go in with this color right here. I 
And it honestly doesn't matter what brush you use. I kind of just use any brush. And I'm just putting this, I'm kind of going from halfway of the lid to the corner. And then to give it a little bit more of a smoky eye, I'm gonna go in with this dark brown here. And I'm just gonna put that in the corners. And then I'm just gonna get a blending brush and blend that out. And then I just go back in with this big fluffy brush and brush underneath to get all the way all the excess powder and then take this really small brush and I'm just gonna put a little bit of the darker eyeshadow underneath my eyes. And then I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit. And then apparently throw it. And then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of mascara. So it really doesn't matter what mascara you use because I'm just gonna be putting fake lashes on. I just needed a base, but I'm just using Rimmel Scandalize Mascara. And then, so then I'm going to attempt <laughs> to put on fake lashes. I'm using Ardell, I think they're the Faux Mink. I'm not exactly sure what exact ones they are. I don't have the package anymore. But you can use any eye lashes. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you prefer. Um, I use... Actually, I just started using the Duo Lash Glue. I know I'm late to the party, but... I'm finally using that. So that's what I'm using to glue these on. I know a lot of people usually, like, skip right to the part where they have the eyelashes on. But I'm going to try to my best to record this and show you how I put them on. I just, it is extremely difficult. So I just put glue on that line on the bottom of the lashes and let that sit for about like 30 seconds before I put it on my eye. So then I just go in and I kind of move my lashes down because for some reason the, it always gets stuck in my eyelashes. The glue and the eyelashes, the fake ones. Um, so I kind of just like move my eyelashes down before I put it on. And then I try my best to put it as close as possible. And I also have tweezers. If Definitely if you're having a hard time putting these on with your fingers, definitely try tweezers. They are a lifesaver.
Honestly, I'm surprised it was that easy for me to put that one on. If you have a hard time putting these on, just keep practicing because it's a struggle. It's still a struggle for me. I'm actually surprised of how well I did that one. When you can get it on that fast, it's, it's a good makeup day. I'm actually so excited to go out tonight. I literally do not ever go out anymore. Not that I really did anyways to begin with. I'm just like so exhausted from working all the time that I'm literally in bed by like nine. I feel like an old person. So I'm actually really excited that I'm getting ready and like going out tonight, so. I gotta do this one now. <laughs> So while I let those dry, I'm going to go in with, I know you probably think this is crazy, but I go back in on my face with another powder. I just like more of a full coverage look when I'm going out. So I use Revlon Color Stay. Again, great um, powder if you want a full coverage face. This stuff, I looked for a powder for so long that was full coverage and I could not find one. And then I tried this, definitely worth it. it it's not even that expensive either. I think it's like 11, 12 bucks. Um, so if you're looking for a cheap full coverage powder, Revlon Color Stay is definitely the move. So I just go in with there and put that all over my face. Colors. So then I just go in with um, bronzer. I'm using the Hula Benefit. And I just use an angled bronzer brush. And then I go in, I don't use a different brush for my nose. I kind of just squeeze it together and do my nose. And then the excess, I don't dip it in again, just so it doesn't come out extremely dark and it looks really weird. Just the excess that's left on the brush, I kind of just go underneath my chin. So it doesn't look like I have a as bad of a double chin as I do. And then I go in with this fluffy brush and kind of just blend the bronzer out a little bit so it doesn't look as harsh. And then I go in with blush. I'm using Tarte in um, color Blissful. And then I just use this brush. You can really use any brush. I don't. And then I just dip that in and put it above my bronzer on my cheeks. So then I go in with a highlight and I'm using right now Jordan Lipscomb's Trooper palette. Um, I bought all three of her palettes, they're amazing. I don't think they sell them anymore, but so I just go in with, I don't even know what shade this is, but this one right here. It's kind of a little bit of a gold. And then my very last step, of course, I use setting spray. I use the e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist. 
This stuff is amazing and it smells like coconuts. And I just spray that all over my face. So my makeup is for the most part complete. I'm not sure if I wanna do lipstick or not yet. I kinda wanna wait until I figure out my outfit. <laughs> but um, we're gonna move on to my hair. Hey guys, so uh, different location. I'm in my bathroom now. It's just a little bit easier to do my hair in here. So I think I'm gonna curl it tonight. So I'm gonna start by brushing out this mane. And it's gonna look crazy once I brush it, but. So then I just part it down the middle. So then I just take one of these hair clips and I take the top half of my hair on one side and kind of twist it and flip it to the other and clip it in there. Take probably about this size strands and I take the curler. This is the, it's just a Remington wand and I take it and go from the back first away from my face. So they don't have to be perfect curls. I do them kind of quickly because I'm just gonna brush it out anyways. And then I kind of fix it however I like. If I need to curl it again, any sections again, I just recurl it. So I'm just gonna brush it out with my hands. And then that's basically how I do my hair. So we're gonna move on to an outfit. Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you the outfit that I'll be wearing out tonight. These jeans I got at American Eagle and this top I believe I got from Forever 21. And then I think I'm just gonna be throwing on a pair of sandals. I'm still waiting for my friend, she's still getting ready, but I'm gonna go pick her up in a little bit and then we're gonna head out. But I just wanted to come on here and show you what I'm wearing tonight. And thank you guys for watching and getting ready with me today. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.